So we're going to be getting going, starting showing how to design a project from scratch using Atmel Start. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is Hello World on the UART. So creating new project for the L21. First thing I need to do is add a UART driver. And just check the pinout um, on the board that I have. So if I go to board details, I can find the user guide. And what I'm going to be using is the virtual COM port. So here we can see that the RX pin is PA23 and the TX is PA22. So PA23 and 22 and Let's save it all the same, but 115200 as a basic board rate. This is the basic configuration will be the same across all microcontrollers, while advanced configuration has some unique features of the particular parts we're on. Uh, the SAMD family, for instance, has a start of frame detect enable, so if you're, the, the part is asleep, uh, it won't miss any UR transmissions. Um, but we're not going to use that now. So we can just check the clock. Default clock is 16 megahertz RC oscillator. If we wanted, we could add a clock divisor here. Um, you can see it's just set to one. And um, um, so the CPU and the UART is clocked by that clock. To export our project, let's call it sensors and hello world as the first step. So the pack that we have, there's a number of ways we can get it into Studio, File, Import, Start Project. What I like to do is just drag it across Alt Tab and drop it in the Solution Explorer. So Hello World Zero as a project. Well, actually, I'm just going to call it Sensors. Open that up. And um, as our main, pretty empty. The file we're going to use a lot is atmelstart.c and here we will always find example functions of the peripherals that we have um, configured. So for instance, UART example and we can see that that prints a hello world. So if we just call this from main um, we should be able to get something. So let's um, Compile our project. You can see it compiles with no errors. Uh, in the data visualizer, let's connect to a serial port. If you want to get in going with the data visualizer, um, the key concepts you need to know are here, uh, the different high level overview of what the use cases are. You can see we're just using a terminal um, at this point. And also note that um, there's F1 help once you've installed that. Um, and I'll show you how to do that at a separate time. Um, so I just need to plug my board in. And you see Studio recognizes the board. It will, I'll need to associate it with this project. should be able to connect to a serial port 115200 that's what we set the board rate at and we connect and now we run the project start without debugging and we have the hello world so um, obviously just a very basic start but we'll move on from here